Hey, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. I'm getting back on the wagon, so to speak. So give me some wiggle room. Uh, for now, I was going to put the music on again, but I need to keep the momentum. I'll find some music. I'm trying to learn to edit, so we'll see how that goes. Music might pop up in the middle of the video somewhere, um, where it shouldn't be. We'll see. So this is for uh, Taurus. It is a general reading, take what resonates, leave what does not, no offense taken. This is just meant for your greatest guidance, guidance for your inspiration, some thought provoking uh, messages that you can take to heart and use again for your greatness to, to build, to create, to move forward. And it's difficult times moving forward. There is a lot of um, oppression, there's a lot of constriction, but in that there's actually a lot of freedom in that when it gets so ridiculous as it is right now on the wider stage, it's then that actually you find this, this slice also in the mirror effect as with everything of it, um, of it being an opportunity to actually have more freedom because it is really from the ridiculous to the sublime right now, there is a there is a more accepted stream of resistance to that oppression in that there's a lot of independent artists saying, screw this, and really going for it, but also the people are there to support those independent art artists because they're also thinking, screw this, I'm not going for it. So it's 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 the counteractive argument of that it might feel like everything's going uh, to hell in a handbasket, and it sort of is. Well, it is not sort of, but at the same time, during those times, that these are the times that the billionaire class has used against us, in that they have created these times because they know that they can clean up financially, energy wise, um, conditioning, uh, more power. They, they clean up during these periods, which is why they like creating them so much. You know, they're getting paid from literally our tax payments, our work uh, to do the things that they do to create an even bigger opportunity market for them to basically loan their money. And that's what's happening right now. So in a way, you can always take lessons from your enemy. And I'm saying this for Taurus in particular, but for everybody, I realize it's a bit of a long intro before the cards come in, but bear with me because it does apply for everybody. But this thought came up for Taurus for the cards that came out also in that this is the time that we can actually take some lessons from the enemy or the oppressor or the opposite side of us or the other end of the spectrum within ourselves because it's at this time that actually we realize we're on one end of the spectrum of disparity, whether that's financial, emotional, time-wise, um, health-wise, all of those things, whereas they're on the other side of the spectrum of having so much that actually it is a, it's corrupted them at a level that they can't stop now. They need to continue. Um, they're fearful to stop. They're fearful to... Um, give in because of the things, the, the lengths that they've gone to, to be at this end of the spectrum, the, the, the serious lengths, the, the, the horrific lengths, they the, could be deemed as evil lengths. But Taurus, us, you know, the, the many, the many within the many, because there's reflections on both sides of each, on, on each ends of the spectrum. You've got the same toxicity, same greed and power, but amongst you here. So bear with me. But the many amongst the many have gone so far on this end of the spectrum that they're intoxicated with the messages that have been put forward by religion and by pseudo spirituality that is reflecting too much on organized man-made religion there's <clears throat> there's this space where we've gotten into where we're eating ourselves up and we just we're, we're in this point where we don't want to jump off this end of the train anyway because we're in survival mode um we're in um 
you know, uh, survival mode as to give unto others as well. We're, you know, we're really trying. And, and both ends of the spectrum are cleaning up in similar ways, but completely different ways. It's then that you recognize there's actually a part of this side, this billionaire elite class, or there's a part of this billionaire elite conscious, not financial class of those that walk among you, that they, you could take from that and, and get to the middle ground, get to that balance ground in that, during these horrific times, it's important to speak out on and, and create change. And But if you pour everything into the horrific evil distractions they're creating on this side, then you're, you're still in that wheel. You're still not putting anything out there um, from within there into the field to actually start shifting the balance into the middle, which is exactly what we need. And for Taurus, that's a really, really strong message. And I hope I hope you could follow what I was saying. It's a really strong message that was coming through when I saw these cards. But it is for everybody at the moment, too, in that where we need to create change, um, doing the same thing all of the time, falling into the same distractions all of the time, is we're doomed to repeat. And this side is then doomed to repeat because they're still getting away with it because we're running this wheel, they're running that wheel, the car continues going forward. Whereas if there's enough of us that screech to a stop and start reversing the energy um, and putting energy this way, it's gonna it's gonna shake it. It's gonna make it swivel, it's gonna make it oscillate, it's gonna make it, and we wanna get it into a tailspin. These two wheels at the opposite ends of the spectrum to spiral down in order for us to be able to see where the balance needs to be in enough numbers that we can actually create some level of um, change of more of a utopic energy. Yes, yes, please, you know, rather than the dystopian. So for Taurus, take what resonates. This is the reading for December and going into January. Um, and leave what does not leave a comment. Help me out there. It's a uh, YouTube has taken down another two videos. Um, the Thanksgiving video that I put up that I did with uh, Trina and Robert V. I've got two strikes since I started speaking out and telling people what was coming. Um, so yeah, I could do with the help to try and um push back there with positive energy. So any positive comments would be great. Any comments are great, of course, but positive ones are far more pleasing. Um, and any likes and shares, super appreciated. So judgment card came out again for Taurus as it did uh, last night for Aries. Um, it's not the shuffle, they've been done, they've been done and done again, and some more in between. Um, as well as saged, but it comes out in reverse. Whereas yesterday for Aries, uh, there was fire start as it was in the upright. So it's interesting that there's a lot of mirror effect energy going on here everywhere between the signs, between the people, between the two ends of the spectrum. So in reverse, we're talking about the fact that we, um, you know, if, we, if yesterday with Aries, we're speaking about people rising from their watery tomb here, their dark chamber, having um, come up, you know, completely naked, let go of all of the things that don't serve them. They're, they're, they're seeking the frequency that's resonating with them uh, from above them there with that trumpet sound, they're responding to it. If that represents growth and, and um, comfortability and self, then in reverse, that's all in reverse. And we're talking about here, it's not It's not a bad thing. It's the same frequency being played. It's maybe just not getting to the right part of your head, your thought pattern or your emotions. And so I want you to picture that you've done all of this work, a lot of work to the point where you're sort of thinking, well, I don't need to do more there. I don't need to go further within there. And you're actually starting to embrace yourself, starting to respond to this frequency 
but in your actions, maybe responding to it and putting your actions to it in a, in a way that is self de self deprivating, self um limiting. If in upright, it is the full raw potentials of self, and finally, you know, stepping into that new skin, having shed the old that doesn't serve. Then this would be to go in as far to embrace yourself, but still more inner work to be done. And that could be that, you know, we need to look further within the same patterns that we've already looked into. Because if you picture, you know, everything being left in that watery tomb in the upright, I want to picture an endless stream of, of skin litter lessons uh, that continue to bang against you as, as they also fall down from that watery tomb that everything should have been left into and the frequency the frequency it's the same frequency it's the same response to the same frequency it's a similar calling but there's there's still some blockades there there's still some letting go to do now it also gives you that energy that that push to say okay leave this direction need to go in another direction and the other card comes in the second card comes in with that so we've got the eight of cups that comes in this chair the eight of cups that comes in here now you can see this guy I want to see you um to notice that he's stepping up there on the ridge it's pretty rocky ground and and there's rocky mountains in the up in the um uh what do you call it the landscape there you can see the sun and the moon combined it's there's a need for balance here for sure there's a need for um and the, and it's quite a sad face there on that sun there's the red rope the red rope would would go towards passions now the the cups being emotions being the way that you feel so there may be that there's still some emotional connections to things that are limiting and i'm trying to keep it pretty general to cover the basis of the energy for you to see how that applies to you or not. But um, there's there's emotional connections, whether that's with inner work from, from things that are still there from the past within that need to be looked at differently from a different perspective that need to be uh, let go even more of um, that there needs to bring uh, be a peace brought about within you still about something that is emotionally connecting you to have you in reverse judgment being really self-deprivate and really judgmental on self with emotions um, a lot of inner dialogue again coming through for you also I think that came through for Aries in that that inner inner dialogue of doing so much work that you get the judgment card that you you you're you're aspiring to reach this frequency in a more raw and authentic um way of self but but there's still limitations there that you put in on yourself now the red wings in the judgment card are obviously on the bottom this red robe is on the middle to top of the eight of cups card so that would speak to me of there's there's a different direction to be taken there's the it might feel like a rocky road but that step up i asked you to notice it would be a leveling up to self it would be uh, having the ability to put that judgment card in the upright by learning how to emotionally detach um, from that that doesn't serve you. And with that red rope, move on in passion, you know, with in a different way, in a different mentality, in a different, and it, you know, it can feel quite solemn, but it's so necessary for those that resonate with this energy, but Taurus in general right now. It speaks also of a in knowing deep down inside that there is a completely different emotional and physical direction required with this aid of cups and this judgment in the in the reverse but then you go on to the next card and again it's a major arcana so there's this work to be done in the emotional sphere um to get over the fear of the initial rocky ground 
um, to get over the fear of the slightly ominous horizon and and just move, make it make a move um, into, into the infinite unknown with that eight number there. You've then got the fool. So the fool comes out on the, see, it's sort of bookending with this song. So we've got the judgment card, the eight of cups, and then the fool. I want it, the fool's a zero point energy of, of where you do let go. You do find that, that point of, I've just got to do it. I've just got to go. I've just got to try. I've just got to give this a whirl, so to speak. And the fool is about to go off the cliff. It's it's again that rocky ground. It's not smooth ground. But you see how the fool is adorned with the clothing that's and I always say that's like this tapestry and that the fool still looks for adventure, even when that fool has been burned, um, you know, uh hurt, um, had harsh lessons, you know, uh being let down still the adventure is still worth it because it all adds to the stitching in that tapestry to the saga of your life. That there is a, 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 a wisdom in the fool card, in that zero point energy, almost that no fucks given energy anymore. You know, that there's there's a limitation being reached here with this this work that has been done so far, but there's still that requirement to move in that different direction, to follow that frequency, that passion, that red robe and the red shoes. Going into that rocky horizon, to this full card of where you get to that point, because for a lot of you, it feels like all hell's breaking loose. And the reason I left the uh, card on the bottom of the deck the underpinning energy of the read until last is because it's the tower card. There is a video on my channel somewhere of the tower card um, giving a clearer depiction of, of all of the elements uh, of the tarot card, or a lot of them anyway, um, in just a basic format to give to give people an idea. Because the tower card frightens people. Um, the tower card can can make me think often, oh, here we go, you know, because it, it doesn't, it doesn't always feel great, but it gets easier, it gets easier, the more that you, again, embrace the energies of the tower, we can't avoid difficult times, and we certainly can't avoid difficult times, difficult thought processes, um, a real with a real level of self control is needed with all of the elements within us mind um body spirit uh water fire earth all of the ether all of the the auric field all of these elements are taking a great amount of work to keep in balance and check right now and in some sort of an equilibrium so i would argue right now that on the wider stage, the tower card energy is here anyway. So whether this card comes out for you or not, it's, it is what it is, isn't it? It's just that at least it's being highlighted to you. At least this is your opportunity to move through it, to turn that judgment card into the upright, to let go emotionally of something that, that you need to be uh, letting go of. Um, 28, 10. So the ending of a cycle with that judgment card and the eight, because the zero is the zero, it's the beginning, that full card. At least it's been highlighted to you that, and that's part of it. It's not a bad thing to actually have the judgment card for a lot of people, especially in this reading, in reverse. It just shows that you're being very aware and very astute to the fact that you've done all of this work. You're 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 being much more raw and authentic and self and um empowering self. And actually, with that eight of cups, it would tell me that you know you get into that point, that readiness, and that can only be uh, known because you've done that work and you continue to do so. And that full card coming out. Um, walking back into the direction of the judgment card 
it feels like you're circling back just by doing this eight of cups action it feels like you're circling back already in this short reading to the judgment card to turn it in the upright um having done this action in the middle this this letting go this moving in a different direction emotionally and with passion and confidence and drive with that red rope so this tower card for you is more that <clears throat> you're really going deep in on this work this 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 um resistance to oppression and constriction you're really taking the opportunity to say okay well the tower energy is here this frequency is here also though calling me to do something to implement a change to to be um be in existence in a different way to put something into the collective that is that is of a different frequency than i've been putting in before um you're really stepping up to the plate it feels in that you're just saying okay let's do this let's um bring it on i want i want to pick up on this tower energy that's around all of us anyway and i want to um use the opportunity of that energy being here to dig deep to to really clear up to really circle back with that fool that zero that circle back to the judgment having known this the tower card is part of the eight of cups definitely those two cards in this reading are so 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 tied together so the tower card for a lot of you, uh, Taurus, that I'm picking up on uh, for this month is that it's a, it's a grief and it's an emotional grief. Um, and it would speak to you right on that edge of the point where you've done the processing of that grief. You've done the processing of that unhappy relationship, either to, you know, make a change in, in a different direction in the relationship and continue it, but in a much a more different fashion and a much more authentic and smooth and and honest and you know raw fashion or whether that is to process that as it i've processed this and it's it's not right it, and it can't be right in this way um so this eight this emotional grief this this tie to certain emotions to a certain event, a certain person, you, you've been processing it. So this tower comes in for you anyway. And so look at that tower video if you want to. But you can see it's ominous. You can see the dark sky behind it. Now, the crown, if you notice, on the top is being struck by lightning and it's it's toppling off. It's, you know, the, it's being flicked off um, by this real strike of, of of lightning this real force uh from from the from the the dark night sky you can see there that there are people falling from the building um notice the three the trinity of those those windows uh they're on fire but it, they're black inside and you know but the tower is actually firm now, there is usually in other cards, the sea also brushing up on it. So you've got all of the elements coming in on this tower. And actually, at the end of it all, it's a lot of a die into self energy, into not being afraid to weather the storm, to be beaten a bit by the, all of the elements, either outside of you or within you or both by your waters, by your emotions, by your fears, by with those thought patterns, um, by your 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 grounding, you know, that crown represents a, a false idol, an ego, a, a something that is not serving you in this energy. It is just there continuing the cycle, whatever end of the spectrum you're on. Um, and to let go of that, to let go of a lot of the illusion um and and a lot of the anger of of that illusion even which is difficult to do right now and uh, the anger of what's been done to people and what's been done to you either personally or from a more collective oppressive uh place that crown coming off that that strike of lightning it's that that moment of this far and no further and actually within all of that all of the battering of the of the um, tower here the tower actually still stands strong at the end of it 
it still stands firm. It could represent your spine in the body. Um, it could represent that that anchor point of you. And all of these elements that feel like they're really battering and bruising and burning and um, icing you over actually are cleansing because it, it it's that last thing that needs to be processed, let go of. Um, that voice, false voice, false, false <laughs> idol um, of self, or even just the false idol of look at how many false idols there are to distract to have energy poured into them and therefore money follows and uh, and and the, how that builds to greed and a corruption and and the influence of those false idols you know the fashions the 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 want to haves the um financing to haves the because of the advertising, the conditioning, the um, the you need this, you need this to be respected in society. You need this to be respected in uh, work, in the church, in the mosque, in this, in that, in and there's all of these layers that actually, if everything went off for a week, you would find that people would not be thinking about those things. They would not be prioritizing those trainers. They would not be prioritizing. Um, those I don't know handbags. It, it would change. The mentality would change, and actually, that is under there. It's just under a lot of manipulation for us to layer stuff on top of us that actually doesn't help our tower grow and flourish and and even grow down and and fix and anchor more into self. It actually, it, it pushes you down, it weighs you down, it stops the flow, it stops that, you know, that aura flow that, that from the top around and up and through, you know, that flow that you want to have, the apple, you can call it even for the shape that it, that, that it wants to be, that it wants to create. So yeah, Taurus, you're doing the work, babies. You are you you are that bull, you are that um that strength. You're grounded. You even though even though it feels like there's a shit storm in your life, that sneaky voice from within that keeps telling you you're on the precipice, you're on the the brink of success in whatever it may be that you're endeavoring to be successful in. Um, that little voice that keeps counteracting the self-doubt and the lack of confidence with that judgment in reverse that is um, whispering to you uh, those those doubtful words, those uh, limiting um, sentences, those labels. The, the it's getting weaker the the whisper is getting weaker and the the, the inner voice the at that other end of the spectrum of that dialogue that with that full card you just know that this is something you've got to do to break a cycle to to move up to level up um and you've seen it for what it is that it's something that isn't going away unless you're wishing to repeat the same things over and over again. You're ready, you're going into it like that bull. You're putting your head down and you're moving and you're going and no matter how uncomfortable it is. And that's something to be so proud of for, for a lot of you that resonate with this because that doesn't come without a lot of work. It doesn't come without a lot of... um letting go of fear of, for this reading, the way this is, the way this is set up, the way the cards are speaking to me. It doesn't come easy to let go of that fear enough to when the when you've got all of this advertising, all of this influence, all of these demands coming through, spinning this wheel on this end of the spectrum, feeding through the chassis to this wheel at this end of the spectrum that you're on. 
to 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 see through that and continue to see through that and the nuances of it all the the layers of deception that you've got to live amongst of the people that you walk amongst you haven't just got to put up with this invisible class moving this wheel you've also got to put up with the class around you that is still being influenced by everything that this marketing wheel this corporate wheel is spewing out down through the chassis energetically to create the actions on this side so you are working doubly hard and i'm glad for you taurus and i appreciate the work that you're doing personally because we need more people to be reversing that wheel in whichever way they're being called to do right now again picture it to make that chassis start turning with that zero point energy where people let go of the fear and start walking off the cliff to become that independent artist to to push past and come back on youtube no matter how many strikes you know um oh and i think i say pretty reasonable things and actually i was right <laughs> um on a lot of it you know warning a long time ahead moving moving and, and making it oscillate making it um start to shift so on behalf of me and um my friends and my loved ones uh, and i'm sure a lot of other people taurus go you you know scratch that ground with that hoof and charge forward um all power to you thank you thank you thank you thank you so as i said before leave a comment share like it will really help and even if it doesn't help with youtube it's a great positive way to stick it to them anyway um that no matter how hard they try on a tiny little channel <laughs> um they don't succeed there's still that love there i love and appreciate you all all to your greatness, love to your heart, strength to your spirit, move forward. Mwah. Do you reckon that?